Hey, I'm Pikachu. This video is about how I was made. Hope you watched part 1. Time for part 2. Hello everyone, how are you guys doing? In the last video, we completed the skeleton face and now it's time to make him look more realistic. I'll explain about the fur a bit. I am going to use a total number of three types of fur. The first one is the most thinnest type of fur and this will be used at places like hands and feet. You can see the cloth through it as well. Now coming to the second type of fur. This fur is medium sized and it is the most important fur as it will be used on most parts of the body. The shopkeeper used to call this Taklu fur. I don't know why. And the reason I am using three types of fur is that if you observe the Pikachu from the movie, you will understand that there are variations in the hair heights at various places. And this is the third one. I thought that this might be the most important fur before. And I also covered my Pikachu with this, but you know, he turned out to be too fat. Hence, I had to remove this completely from the body and I had to buy the fur which I showed previously, the second type of fur, this one. I got this fur from Crawford Market, Mumbai, and they only sell per meter. Hence, I had to spend around 1000 to 1200 Indian rupees on this fur as they cost around 300 to 400 rupees each. And the glue that I'll be using is rubber adhesive. So I'm using the first type of fur and I am use I have to use it in a way so that my articulation does not get compromised. As you can see at the upper side, I have used medium type fur because that's how his hairs are in the movie. So far, the articulation is also doing good. Now I have to cut this in a proper way because I don't want the overall look to be messed up because of these cutouts. I'm simply using rubber bond to stick this fur because it sticks properly and also you can pull it out if you want to. I'm cutting at the points where the two types of fur meet so that they can look that they are merged and hence it will give some sort of a natural look to it. I'm marking and cutting the fur properly so that the look is not compromised and also it helps me to stick easily. Now adding the layer of fur on his face is the most trickiest part of this project. And there are lots of mistakes that occur. I have added and removed the fur from his face, I don't know, maybe four or five times. And here we go. I had to cancel out the talking mouth function uh, because it compromised on his looks so you know sometimes it's better to back off at some places but overall it turned out to be good currently just checking if there are any openings over there where if i can see the cardboard inside or not looks fine by me and yes and yes i am happy because it's my first time working with fur and it came out to be as good as I expected. Hence, I, I cannot express my words right now. And yes, there are little limitations in the movements because of the fur. But it's okay. I mean, I cannot expect everything to happen. And But overall, I'm happy with this figure because I'm 80% sure now that this will come out as I have expected. Now why I'm saying 80% is because the hair texture in the movie is not like this 
Of course, it's fur. Hence, I'm a little okay with it. I'm using acrylic colors to color the fur, and these colors are quite resistant to water. Hence, acrylics are the best in this case. Also, I'm using simple brush to color it, and the color will stick properly to the fur. And I'm using hair dryer so that it can dry up quick. Now, why I'm using white fur over here? instead of yellow because i had searched various shops in the profit market and it was very hard to find the specific type of fur that i was searching for also many of the fur types that i have got were the last pieces remaining over there also detective pikachu's stomach area is white and hence i use white fur because we can put any color on it very easily now the best thing has happened that the acrylic color has hardened the fur and now it started looking like hair which makes me 100% sure that he's gonna turn out how I want him to be. Currently what I'm doing is adding these tiny color details and these are very fun to do because as soon as I'm as soon as I keep completing them I am reaching towards the end that is the final completion. And the most adorable or the most famous part of his is electrodes or I should say the red red part I'm just giving it normal red or oh, kind of I have mixed red with yellow also the nose I have made from fevicryl molded that is epoxy clay I also do sculptures you can check those out on my other videos some tiny details that are there in the movie version I'm just trying to replicate those So while working on him, the eye glossiness was kind of little bit affected. Hence, I'm just using normal bike polish in order to bring the glossiness back. And here we go, finally the moment is here. I have done it and I'm damn happy. Are you ready, boy? Are you? Are you ready? Come on, respond. Come on. And he's finally ready and I'm damn happy to see his final completed form. And I must say that he is more than what I had expected. And it took around one and a half month to make him and it's completely worth it because there are lots and lots of materials which I hadn't worked on before and I have discovered lots and lots of new techniques to make him. So what I'll do now is do a short review on him so that you guys can understand what are his articulations. As you can see we can move his hands left right and also we can rotate his hands as well. Mainly there are shoulder joints and hinged and elbow joints to the hands. We can move his legs only this much back and forth and also there are ball joints at the foot so that we can get enough articulation over there. Of course the articulation is limited at some points but it's, it's completely okay. I don't have any you know problems with that. As you can see my ear joints as well. Also there's this tail joint. Uh, it's mainly inclined towards one side but it can also move towards the other side as well and you can see right now the eyebrow joint and also the eye joints you can move the eye up down left right and the eyebrow joints where i can give him different kind of expressions i've kept the back part open in order to test out the puppet function uh, it's not that smooth as how expected 
uh, but if I make him for the second time I'm sure that I'll make I'll make a better version of him but I'm not planning anything to do him for the again for the second time I'll try to do something else and in that I install this install this puppet function as you can see I can move his eyes I can move his eyebrows from inside also with the puppet function I can move his hands from inside uh, as you can see there are knobs I don't think so that they might be visible over here but yeah I can move them and just can move his shoulders or from inside I just don't use function much because this does did not turn out to be as I expected and also can move his legs a little bit Also, I can make him stand easily on his two feet. I don't know how to say that. Yes, and he cannot. He doesn't need any support to stand. As you can see. I like to do this. I keep doing this many times. I just like to play with him. But that's what I do with each and every of my creation. But yeah, but he is life size, so there is a different fun experience in this. And yes, the back closes quite properly. So it doesn't look that much weird. So I hope you guys liked my Pikachu. If you have any suggestions which character should I make next, then you can post it down in the comment box below. And yes, I did take him to Comic Con Mumbai 2019. I have this aim of cosplaying with a handmade character with me. In 2018, there was Baby Groot, and in 2019, it's Detective Pikachu. I was cosplaying with it to Harry Goodman from movie pokemon directed pikachu and yes that's me many people loved my pikachu took pictures with him thanks a lot for watching this video if you'll watch the full video thanks again do like share and subscribe and if you haven't watched part one yet then do check out the links in the description or at the end of this video till then take care stay safe see you next time with a new creation